Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with us here on CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, CU head coach Mel Tucker, joining us tonight here at the View House. Coach, I asked you this on the show, but when you look back at the last year, what is the best way to describe how it has been for you? Yeah, it's been it's been very exciting, very rewarding. It's a very challenging, um, but the future is very bright, and I love CU. You had a chance to, to coach, obviously, as you were coming up with some of the greats. Nick Saban, obviously, being the guy that I think everybody points to as kind of the model coach in the NCAA. How much did you take from his programs and from what you learned coaching under him? And are you trying? how much are you trying to instill that into the program up in Boulder? Yeah, I learned a lot from Coach Saban. I mean, I was with him at Michigan State, LSU, and Alabama. And uh, so, you know, my foundation in terms of coaching – and especially defensive football and then also recruiting has come from coach Saban so there's a lot of things that um that he's uh that he has in his programs you know fundamentally offense defense special teams and recruiting that you know I've taken with me and, and I'm using here at CU as you watch the college football playoffs and all the bowl games unfold do you find yourself rooting for anyone in particular <clears throat> you know what um I root for uh not necessarily the teams but you know place where like I know coaches or I know players and I'm kind of rooting for you know certain guys like I you know I know Justin Fields you know so I was rooting for him you know um, you know I, I know coaches on on staff at Clemson coaches on staff at LSU I know guys at Oklahoma you know so you know I, I end up uh, kind of like pulling for those guys mm -hmm. did you watch your Badgers the other day I did man they were getting, they were getting after it. Yeah, they were that was getting an after unbelievable it. football game in yeah, the Rose Bowl. I know yeah. it didn't go the way you wanted it. Yeah, to. they were getting after it, man. They're big time. But you know, I know quite a few of those guys at Oregon. I was with uh, some of those guys at Alabama, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Mario Cristobal and I are very, very good friends. And so it was a, it was just a, it's been a great couple of weeks of college football. You had the early signing period at CU, mm -hmm. then you take a break from recruiting, and then what's next kind of on your calendar as you gear up for spring ball and eventually the start of the 2020 season? Yeah, we're going to finish up recruiting this in uh, this February signing, signing period, and we'll get that done, and then we'll do scheme evaluation and, you know, figure out what we need to do to get better on, on uh, in all phases. We're going to get our guys in shape in our fourth quarter uh, strength and conditioning program, and then we're going we're gonna to get after the spring ball. There are some guys probably listening to this like, oh, no, <laughs> coach is already talking about getting us in shape. Yeah, they know. They, they know what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mentioned the early signing period. That's relatively new yeah. in college football. How has that changed things yeah. for you guys in the coaching ranks? It's just uh, accelerated everything. I mean, guys are making decisions a lot earlier now. So that, that whole uh, recruiting process, you know, it's, it's, it gets up on you, you know, fairly quickly. You, gotta, you get a lot of guys making decisions and making commitments, you know, that summer before their senior year, you know, already knowing where they want to go. And so um, we're actually bringing guys in on official visits in the summer now, which we never used to do that. And so um, you, you just got to get started a lot earlier on these guys. We showed a clip in the show of Jason Harris, four-star defensive yeah. end who committed to you guys uh, within the last couple of days. Had actually already signed his national yeah. letter of intent, but then made his announcement yeah. official recently. What are Buffs fans going to see from him when he hits Folsom Field? Yeah, he's a he's a great young man. I mean, he's an awesome guy to be around. He's got a great family. Um, you know, he's a six-seven, you know, in some change. You know, 230-pound pass rusher. You know, he's got really good twitch. He's got great length, athleticism. You know, he loves to rush. But I think what you're going to see is you're going to see a guy to develop, you know, as a player. You know, he's going to fill out, you know, when it's all said and done, he's going to be a 255, 260-pound, you know, 6'8 pass rusher that can stop the run and, you know, they can get after the get after the quarterback. Um, he's going to be very, very active. Um, I'm looking... I'm looking for big things out of him. He's a great guy, a great young man. He wants to be a great player. He's going to put the work in, and we're going to develop him. He's going to be a guy Pac-12 offensive coordinator is going to have to stay up late game planning for. That's, that's the plan. Yeah, and hopefully there's a couple more guys on that CU defense in the years to come. Hey, Coach, this was great, man. Really enjoyed yeah, the visit. Thank you. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us here tonight, and thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com.